Okay, so today we're going to talk about bearing problems and tuning up of the Turney C8085-250. As you may have read on the web and in other places, there's been a lot of bearing failure reports on this motor. And I believe I've uncovered the reasons why and solutions to this issue and how to make this motor better overall. So the first thing I'm going to do is address some of the tools that I'm going to use here today. We've got our metric Allen wrench set and really you only need these two. I've got a uh, ring clip remover extractor. You can see it's been it's shaped to remove these clip rings. Always need a set of four press. Here's another set for a different angle. This is your screwdriver and a punch. And this is an aluminum tube that I use in order to help uh, punch out the bearings without uh, destroying the machine surfaces up against them. So when looking at uh, the motor assembly sequence, here's like your prop washer, prop nut, prop washer, pressure plate, backing plate, which is normally screwed up against the motor here. And there's uh, two set screws on either side of the motor. And you can look on the shaft below and see that they're actually flattened areas for the uh, set screws to go to. I've done some partial disassembly here. Uh, the bell housing here, oop cat, the bell housing here is uh, pressed on and this will slide off. So first thing to do is remove all the front end pieces here loosen up your set screw loosen up your back your your bell housing set screws as well again that's four set screws that you'll be undoing then you will also have to from the back end this is your retaining piece that will back the sir clip or ring clip ring and this is a just a just a bearing washer essentially and what you'll notice is that back here you can see that machined in groove that's where the clip clip ring went what I've noticed uh, after talking with some mechanical engineers is that there's only one of these clip rings there is nothing in the back of the motor here that uh, supports your shaft pressure so what is happening I believe is that via the prop nut on the end of here the compression people are putting on the back plate is exceeding the friction that you're getting with the set screws and mechanical engineers say that's rather normal that wouldn't be a hard thing to do which is then sliding your pressed fit bell back and loading the bearings which would be in particular these, this bearing here and this bearing here they are loading against the ring clip that's back here so that is why you shorten the life of your bearings is because they are being uh, loaded in a direction that they're not designed for so we will look at removal of the bad bearings and then uh, fixing those 
bad bearings and remounting props in such a fashion that it will not damage your bearings again ever again all right so we've undone the set screws in here slid this off extracted the ring clip using our ring clip pliers you can buy those at any uh, auto shop we've gone and we've pulled this off the thing now it's magnetically coupled so it's very difficult to pull this off and do not use the wires to uh, try and break the magnetic grip you're gonna have to grab it from the outside preferably with a tool and pull this back off of that shaft that it is really grabby so having done that we're going to knock out the bearings and uh, that's an easy process and I'll show you how I did it